All right, guys, good morning from Sichon. Today, we have got a bike. We are heading on a little bit of a trip. We are going to Kanom, which is about 35 minutes away down what is supposedly a super beautiful road along the coast through a national park, I think. It should be really good. So yeah, we're super excited. Just pulled over, look at these beautiful views here in Sichon. Absolutely stunning. Sun's out, beautiful day. Here she is, the yellow beast. Yeah, it should be a good one. Let's go for it. Right, so we've pretty much just set off, but the views are absolutely stunning. It's one of them, I can tell, where we're just going to want to pull over like every two minutes. I've already wanted to pull over about five times. It's so green, just pure jungle. And it's well nice. You can see the clouds there on the top of the mountain. There's these little reservoirs everywhere. It's just so nice. It's the perfect place to just take a bike and go on a mission. But I'm not being funny. We've literally just left Sichon town and it's just stunning. We've got like a mangrove area. Absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to get on the proper road. But it's hot. It's absolutely bloody roasting. We're gonna get so sunburned, I can smell it. When you see someone making canon croc like that, you can't not buy them. It should be a criminal offence. <laughs> they look so good, so fresh. And what are these? That pretty batch, good. Batch. Oh, it's noodles. It's like those red noodles with um, shrimp. Oh. Yeah, these look seriously good. I guess the dough's right for breakfast. They're going to be so hot that it's going to have lava on it. Look how good these Canon Croc look. They were super fresh. And we've got a big bag of sugar, which shows you they're not like overly sweet to come with. Mmm. No, but they're really good. They're premium, coconut. They're not like too sugary. For them, you can load them up with sugar. Now let's see how that is. Mm. Oh, that's nice actually. Sweetens them up a little bit. It's too hot, man. But some of them are just really hot, Ooh. depending on what orders you flick them out of the pan in. They do get stuck all in your teeth though. Mm. They're really good though. I think maybe some of the best we've had. I'd say some of the freshest, yeah. like most healthiest tasting. Oh, look at the, it's like coconut. Goo. Really, really crispy. Like crispy, yeah. So hot though. The perfect canon crop. Look at that. I'm going to try and eat that. Hot. Oh. Good boy. Alright then guys, here we are. We are officially at the start of the road. It looks like it's going to be absolutely beautiful. You can see here this old sign, essentially saying where we are. And as you can see, it's just pure jungle, so, so green. And then over here, we can see the coast and it's absolutely beautiful. We've just driven past this. I think there's just gonna be unspoiled beaches all the way, look at this. There's not a single soul on that beach. And it looks beautiful. The sea is nice and flat, super blue. Yeah, it's looking really nice, isn't it? The excited leash. Yeah, I can't wait. This is so nice. It's beautiful. And the road is so nice. It's literally I know. just like jungle. There's like no one on it. I, I hope that stays the case, but it's like a super nice, well paved road that I think goes through the jungle linking Sichon and Kanom. So let's go for it. Oh, oh wow. How beautiful is that? Wow. <laughs> it's unreal. It's unreal. Just stop, yeah. Yeah, to stop, yeah. I told you we're just gonna have to keep pulling off because it's absolutely gorgeous. It's just one of them. I can tell it is. Yeah, they're pulling over as we go because you just 
cannot drive past a view like this and not pull over. You can't not. I can't do it, I genuinely can't drive past. I have to get off the bike. Look at how stunning it is. The water looks so nice, so clean. We've got all the rocks. There's not a single soul on this beach. You can actually go down to this beach and then we're just backed by the pure jungle. Oh, it's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. I mean, we're only like two minutes into this drive and I can already tell you this is somewhere you should go out of your way to visit for sure. Like, look at the road, it's bloody beautiful. And where's the traffic? There's no one on it. We're the only people on this road. I mean, I'm not going to speak too soon, but yeah, soldier on. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? A little bit steep, but it's stunning. We went straight through the jungle. I mean, yeah, I don't know what to say. I don't need to say much, do I? I thought the road seemed a bit quiet and like, we were just driving up into the jungle. We've actually driven the complete opposite way up into the mountains, up into the jungle to like a dam. And I don't know someone's house. They're doing some work. Absolute travesty. I thought the road was extremely steep. Now we're gonna go all the way back down. Typical. Right then, we've just pulled in at the Sichon Canom Road viewpoint. Quite a few people here. I mean, obviously it's not many at all compared to like a major touristy spot, but yeah. This is absolutely stunning. I don't know what it reminds me of. It reminds me of somewhere in Europe. This coastline, it's absolutely incredible. All the rocks, the water is so beautiful. So we've got a few viewing platforms we'll take a look at. Got a big elephant statue. Look at that. This has been cordoned off because someone's tried jumping off before. So what do you have? That's a baidi, mate. That's a baidi, it's Let's have a look. So we've got this viewing platform, we've got another one there. Wow. It's well nice. The, the ocean looks so inviting today. You just want to jump in. Hopefully we can go for a swim somewhere. Look at it, it's well beautiful, it's isn't so it? so beautiful. It's so blue. I know, it's so blue. It's like a funny blue colour, isn't it? When we were driving, I was like, it looks like Greece or like the Mediterranean. Definitely. Sea, Greece, Albania, I don't even know where. Even the UK, just because of the, the rocky coastline. And then there's a huge stretch of beach down there. I think that is Canom Beach. That is where we're going to. That is the destination. But yeah, this, this one doesn't even matter about the destination, this journey. It's not about the destination. What is it, Leash? It's not always about the destination. Sometimes it's about the journey to get there. So let's have a look over it. It's like tour buses pulling up, as you can see. Bloody cab. Let's have a look over here. Another little viewpoint. And here's the picture spot where everyone gets the pics. I mean, it is a nice spot. So, yeah, you can see. Really nice little viewpoint, nice little pull-off spot. I tell you that I'm hungry, I need to get some snacks when we get to Canon. So literally just round the corner from the viewpoint that like the million people are stopping at. I've got another one that's absolutely abandoned. Maybe it's because this tree here has overgrown the view. Most probably so. So people can't get those perfect pictures but it is still stunning you can see that cove down there with the fishing boats on the beach i mean it's not a bad view is it look at that butterflies flying around it's well nice absolutely stunning around here this is such a nice part of thailand so nice we need to get moving we're just we've not really made much ground we've pretty much gone nowhere but yeah, here is the road. Just like one or two cars, there's, there's no one here. It is a weekday, so I'm guessing a weekend it'll be very busy. But yeah, perfectly beautiful paved road. It is very steep, it's like a roller coaster, but nice. Okay, so this road is super cool. Now, if you like, Google anything to do with this road, all that will come up is pictures of people 
here because this road's like like a roller coaster it's like bendy it goes up and down it's actually really beautiful it's palm tree lined i mean it is a stunning road they do say this the sichon Kanom road is one of the most beautiful in thailand and you can see why super steep but i mean look at the views try and get a shot driving down here so here we go we'll go for that bumpy legendary road it's like a roller coaster look at this it is so cool and you can just cruise you can literally go as slow as you want because there's no one here everyone's just cruising no one's blasting down this road everyone's just taking the time and just loving life we went like 20 k. Like, oh, it's so blue is the sea. Oh, no, it's so blue. We need to go for a swim. Oh yeah. We just stopped for a little quick pit stop at this lovely lady's little shop. So what do you have? Got a few snacks. A nice like isotonic drink because it's so hot. Look at the bloody sun. And then now we're gonna head down here to a beach, I don't know where. We're just going to drive down the Kanom Coastal Road and see what's going on. So yeah, let's go. So I think we are just entering Kanom now. And there's absolutely no one here. As you can see behind me. So we're going to drive down this coastal road, see if we can find somewhere nice to like set up, chill out, maybe get some food. Maybe lie on the beach, go for a swim. Just, just relax. There's, you know, there's public beaches everywhere, so you just see signs saying public beach. We'll see if we can try and find a nice spot. I think they're all pretty beautiful, so. But yeah, down here you can see it's not too built up. We've just got like resorts, but they're not like mega massive resorts. They're quite small, so we've got little resorts, we've got restaurants, we've got cafes, loads of little coffee tea shops. Like, what's that? The Taste of India? What's that? Indian restaurant. Bloody Indian restaurant in um, good old Kanon. Let's just keep going. But yeah, my point is I'm just showing you how like chilled out it is because I had no idea what this place was going to be like, but yeah. And as you can see behind again, the jungle mountain views. What's this? We have just parked the bike here. There's signs everywhere, like I said, saying public beach. So I'm guessing you can just go wherever you want. And Kanom, Kanom, I don't know how you say that. What is the difference between this town and the word for dessert, the Thai word for dessert, the Kanom. Kanom. Anyway, enough waffling. So this place is absolutely stunning. As you can see, there's nobody here. Family just rocks up now, but until then there was there's just nobody here. In fact, if you look down the beach, you can see pretty much nobody on it in all directions. This place is absolutely stunning. We've got a bit of wind. So the seat isn't flat, but it's still gorgeous. Like, we'll be getting in there very soon. It's so refreshing. But do you see what I'm saying? Like, look, it's just jungle. Like, proper untouched jungle. So beautiful. There's like, not actually that much rubbish litter on the beach. What has been washed up is just at the back. The sand's really nice and soft. This is paradise. Honestly, this is paradise. Why is there nobody here? Why do people not come to places like this? It's so underrated, it's criminal. Look at this place. And you can see like this, we've got no big hotels. Anything that is here is just like small, small, small resorts, which is exactly what we love, small businesses. You know, there's no bloody Hilton or none of that rubbish. Well, I hope not, no, so. Yeah, look at this. What a place. Absolutely stunning spot here. I'll tell you what, this beach is absolutely fantastic. This is such a hidden gem here in Thailand. It's absolutely ridiculous. There's tables you can sit at with the plastic chairs. You've got these little swings all down the beach. We just got speaking to the guy, he actually cleans it every day as well, just like a... I don't know who he is, but yeah. It's just a public beach. And the sea is absolutely beautiful. 
And I've just realised as well, that mammoth over there, that island, is Kosamui. I'm pretty sure all the way over there, it looks absolutely huge. Not really our thing over there, but that's why we're here, look at this. I'll say this every day of the week. Absolutely stunning, I love it. And there's bloody no one here. So nice. Got the little waves. Oh. Water is so nice, honestly. Really nice temperature. It's bloody heaven here. Look at this. What a place. Get yourself here, get yourself to Sichon and Kanom. You won't regret it. It's like a bloody, our private desert island. Leash is out there bouncing in the waves. Leash! There she is. Cracking spot. And yeah, look, oh. Jungle, no bloody high rises. No chains, no rubbish, just untouched paradise. Undeveloped paradise, we'll say. Not many places like this left, but they are here. And this beach. And this beach is extremely long. You can see it runs all the way down there and then back all the way down there to the mountain at the end. This is a super long beach. I mean, ridiculous really, isn't it? Palm trees, coconuts, climb one of them, get yourself a coconut. Paradise, paradise. Honestly, what a little day we're having here. One last thing I forgot to say, whilst we were just lying here on the beach, there's just been non-stop eagles flying over. I don't know what they are, eagles, hawks, ever with like big white heads. They're really impressive. It's not here now, but they've just been constantly flying over. I mean, what a place. I'm so happy we came here. Really, really happy. The people here are really nice. I don't know who they are. But yeah, there's no one here. Absolutely no one here. Couple my cap. Have a, uh, have a nice day. <laughs> Really smiley, really happy people. He's not got a worry in the world, that bloke. He's just living his life. What a place, yeah, this is the car park and there's just no one here. They've got toilets, they've got, they got everything here. Some bungalows as well, I think you can stay. There's just loads of places you can stay. It'd be well nice, I bet it's quite cheap. Cracking place, we've got a resort there, a little hotel. Well nice. So we're going to head off now, midday heat, we're going to try and get a coffee somewhere, maybe go to the viewpoint, have a coffee, get some food, and yeah, let's see. Right, let's see what's going on here, we've just driven past a, looks like to be a rice and curry spot, a few people are pulling over and eating, I've just seen the pots, the silver pots, that's what you need to look for, anytime you see a lot of silver pots by the side of the road, you know you're in for a treat. See, so yeah, I think just a typical rice and curry spot. Maybe, maybe seafood curries, yeah, fish curries. So what do you have? Cow, 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 Oh, that's it. Any Geng Som? That's Geng Som. Uh, I like Aloha Tea Sud. This looks good as well, doesn't yeah. it? Look at that. Oh. 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 Which is the best one? I, I, I like Aloha Tea Sud. I like Aloha Tea Sud. <laughs> Are these also the same? Any, any pla, any, any chicken. Okay, that's all. That's all. Oh, you do it yourself. Oh, we do. I do. Oh, you do it yourself. This is fish. That's really good. Yeah. Maybe I'll get this and then a bit of that one over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
don't know, it just looks good. Look inside here. So I don't know any of these. Oh, this one looks nice. Oh, so you just do it yourself? I, I do. I do. What, you just do it all yourself? Is that too much I've got? I actually don't know what this is I've just got, but it looks really good. Look at that. So you can get two, so I'll get on the other side. Oh, any I have. Any ba So that's seafood again. What is this one like? Chicken. Another chicken curry. Well, you've got to love this, haven't you? I don't know which one to get for my last. So maybe the, either the ging som or the ging som. Maybe this one. Any any aloe ma? Aloe. Aloe. Okay, I'll get some of this. Sorry. It's hectic. No, no, Can you? Ah, Do you want to do? Ah, a couple of cap. Perfect. Maybe there. Cha 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 cha. Oh, a couple of cap. Look at that. There's a massive plate of rice and curry. Superstar. I've got all the fish I've got. So these are 50 baht a plate for two different curries. We've got a nice big plate of rice. We've got some sort of fish curry on this side. Big, huge piece of fish. You gave me three of these big pieces. And on this side, I don't know what this is. It's like strange shape. If you can tell me what this is, please tell me no. Let me know. It's got like a crunchy bone bit in the middle, but I don't know. I don't actually know what it is. But the actual curry itself is really tasty. Mm. Really tasty. But look where we're eating. We're pretty much on the beach and it's still 50 baht. It's the same price as it would be in town. But with a view. Alicia's has got some sort of like sweet fish curry on this side. It's really good that one. And what's your other one? Chicken? It's chicken, yeah, but when, you, when they make curry, they just like chop the full chicken up. And just throw everything and in. throw it in a pot, so we put like chicken, bit of chicken rib there, I think. You can get all kinds of bits of the chicken, yeah, can't you? Just, lot, just the mystery bag. But the curry's really nice. And 50 baht though for like a big plate of whatever, Korean rice, you can't go wrong. But yeah, let me know what these are, because you got to like, spit that stone out. Yeah, so this is the absolute legendary famous spot where everyone comes to take pictures, as you can see in the middle of the road. The most Thai thing ever. There's actually an entrepreneur who's set up a business at the side of the road. Professional photographer, he'll take pictures for you, like professional pictures, and then send them you. I don't know how much he charges, but yeah, that is this is just the most Thai thing ever. You can Proper see photo. Thai husband doing his duties. Yeah, Thai husband on the duties, on the picture on the, duties. On the squats, on all the <laughs> angles. To be fair, it is really cool though, look. It is quite cool. What's in your leg down? What? In the bush now. Proper picture spot. No, my own. <laughs> YouTube video. Oh, huh? <laughs> there it. Oh, oh, absolute oh. legend. Entrepreneur. He's got an umbrella hat. <laughs> he knows what's up, so he doesn't burn out here in the sun all day. This is ridiculous. Oh yeah. But yeah, the road is really cool, and there's also he's also selling, or his mate's selling coconut ice cream, which does actually sound really good right now. But let's see, see how much they cost, and then. We're gonna go for a coffee. For the view. Sam said, you're on? How you sit here, Cap? Sticky rice. Sticky rice? Cow nail. Cow nail. Little sticky rice. Okay, mate. Cha, cha, cha. You sit here. Just get it. 25 baht for this. We've got sticky rice, coconut ice cream. They also have bread. You do kanompang, like coconut sandwich. Oh, how nom nom one. Okay. How busy this place is. Everyone's just pulling over just for this photo walk as well for them. Oh, we should get the chain, sorry. Got one cab. <laughs> Let's have this. Oh, she's got some cocks as well, eating out the coconut. Alright there, mate. Oh, that's hot. I've just touched that and it's literally 
so hot, like burnt my hand. Show the fucking ice cream. Yeah. Stick your ass underneath. I mean, she offered the sticky ass, so I guess it must be a done thing. Coconut ice cream is sticky ass. Mm -hmm. Oh, it does look good. Is it good? Mm. What's the sticky ass like? Is it like sweet? Well, though. Really? Mm. It's like. Mm, that's a winner. Sticky ass and coconut ice cream, the winning combo. Well, I've never thought about that before. I kid you not, this tar couple have gone through 20 different pauses. <laughs> I don't know, do they rehearse it? Is it a routine? You just picked her up and had her like, hang her leg out, it's hilarious. And the second they wanted their picture, all the traffic came. They're at it again, they're literally just pausing, pausing, pausing. They're mental. Oh, it's what she's on the Oh, they're going for the piggyback now. <laughs> oh, you can't get her, you can't. Abandoned. You can't get Camping chairs out. What's, what's Look, this, this is literally only in Thailand. Camping chairs out now. Sat on a camping chair in the road. Bearing in mind, this is a functioning road as well. It's not it's just like a, a film this set. This is normal, and we're just like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on here? Everyone's giving up waiting for this man. This couple in there. This is so funny. And there's a lady over there. In the this guy's a proper entrepreneur. Though. I've got to respect the hustle. He's seen the gap in the market, and he's fulfilled the need. Oh, we're going to drive down the road that the bloody selfie madness is happening on. And in all honesty, it's extremely beautiful. I look at it. Now then, we've come to a coffee shop that is on this Sichon Canom Road, and this is the view. How ridiculous is this? It's absolutely gorgeous. It's like 3 p.m., it's so hot, I've got a headache. But yeah, look at the color of the water. It's crazy, but it's an, again, it's just an absolute photo op mania. We can see photo shoot going on there. We've got this for photos here, this like moon thing, which I don't know what this is. Everyone's taking pictures through. And the floor's really hot as well, like absolutely burns your feet off. But the prices aren't too bad. Americano 70 bucks, you're at like 10, 15, 20 more than usual. It's not the end of the world. But look where we're sitting. We've commandeered this corner, we've got the bean bags. Look at Leash. <laughs> oh, it does not get much better than this, does it? Look at the view. You can see the islands. Shadow of Gothic. Oh. It's really good. I asked for it a little bit sweet just to try and get rid of this headache. I don't know how that's going to work, but yeah. No, it's really good to be fair. Thursday. Coffee's always good in Thailand. But yeah, what a spot. It's so hot. I'm melting. We're just, just going to have to sit here for an hour, aren't we? And just, yeah. just hide out of the sun. It's no joke. The sun here is crazy. Yeah, the sun in summer in Thailand is ridiculous. Everyone's been commenting saying you need to stay out of the sun. Yeah, I agree, you're right. We've not been doing that, we need to start hiding, but... There's too much to see. Too much to see, too much to do, too much to eat. So it's hard to stay out of the sun. Look at this. Just in the jungle. All the local fishermen are out on the boats. What a place. Look how flat the sea is. Yeah, this part of town is beautiful. Unseen Nakhon Sea Tamarat. Hey, up, look at this. I don't think we could have chose a worse place to sit. This is a palm tree with some absolute massive coconuts on, right above my head. Right above my crotch. Sit here long enough, I might never be able to have kids again. <laughs> we've just pulled off the road on the way home because we've come across this beautiful temple area. Now, please, somebody tell us what all this signifies. For it seems to be like a really special place. 
It looks like there's something going on as well. You've got all these tigers with the, the flowers wrapped around and everyone is obviously making offerings and praying here. And yeah, I just, I just wish I knew more about this. But it's really beautiful. We've got these figures. Really, really nice. And there's lots of lots of locals here, really peaceful place. And there's a big temple as well. Yeah, what a really cool temple complex. I mean this temple is absolutely stunning, there's loads of monks in there. And yeah, this has got to be some sort of special place. Look at this, we've got these knives, and I don't know what. Really, really beautiful. Somebody let us know what this is. But it's far too hot. Me and Leash are so sunburned. You can see there's a line on my hand where I've been holding the throttle. I'm not, I'm not looking forward to seeing how red we're going to be. We're like lobsters. But yeah, this has got to be a special place. I'm sure of it. Really, really nice. Just a, just a little gem by the side of the rope driving past. You've got to, you've got to have a little nosy around. Because we've got loads of tigers everywhere as well. And yeah, but then we've got all these Chinese lanterns hanging. I wish I knew, I wish I knew. Can't just sit here and Google it because we don't travel with SIM cards, so. And then we've got these. We've got a golden Buddha. Right, so I found out a bit of information. We just asked lovely any, and she has just taught us. So people come here from all over Thailand, from Bangkok, Places that far away to pray and wish here for prosperity, so for like good luck, etc. And I'll just try and show you over here without being disrespectful. So, people, oh, this floor is hot. So, people tie these ribbons on and they pray, the Buddhists, and then I'm gonna have to get off here because it's hot. And then that many people come now that I'm going to show you now. Can you see the red ribbons? They're all on the roof. Because that many people come, they have to take them off. And you can see they're just everywhere and they retire them back onto here because that many people come now. What an incredible place. What I like. I don't know. It's just really nice. What a cool place. Look how many there are on the roof. Yeah, really special little place this. Beautiful. And everyone's super lovely as always. Now let's get back on the bike. Just made a quick pit stop and got a couple of drinks because it's absolutely roasting. These lovely ladies have whipped us up some drinks. So what do you have? We've got a cha kiao. Which is really good. But I've got something ridiculous I've never had before. This is like a... What even is this? And any of you that I have? Bua. Oh my god, that's hard to say. But essentially, it's just so sweet. It's like, it's like mixed fruit syrup. It's bright blue. It looks bad for you. But it tastes so good. It tastes so good. I need aloe. One, one mag, but aloe mag. Cup on cap. It's really good. 25 baht each. That's a tea for runner. That's just what you need in this heat. Right, the amazing ladies here have just actually caught up some sour mango for us with some of that plawan. This is like, we've just been eating this every day now. <laughs> so let's just try some of that. Sour mango, let's give it a dip. This is like sweet fish sauce. And it balances out that sourness of the mango really well. Oh, it's delicious, but it's super sour. Let's get another bit. You need a lot of that sweet fish on there. Ooh. Oh. And then, we've also got these huge piles of, is that salt or sugar? I think this one's salt, I think that one's sugar. Oh, oh, any, any wine, any sugar? Oh, salt. I need, I need pickle, I need pickle, I need a pawan. 
Oh, so we've got a few different things. Oh my god. <laughs> Proper char snacks. So good though. The mango is so sour, but when you eat everything together, it's like a perfect combo, isn't it? So good. Well, good. So sour. Got leashes burned. Show what you like. Oh, it's really embarrassing. I put my foot there, obviously in the sun. So and I've burnt. got like a streak. It's just got like dodgy tan in I've got the handlebar. Yeah. Burn. This is really good. Yeah. Purple makeup. Yeah. Okay, do you want se sel hat. selfie? Selfie. 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 <laughs> Everyone get in. Perfect. <laughs> so yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Open my cup. Open my cup. <laughs> Indy Okay. Proper little shop this. Honestly, if you're in the area, if you are coming to this temple, <laughs> please make sure you stop here. They're absolutely lovely. Couple my cup. Yeah, really good little spot. Oh, couple my cup. I think this is it. I need flour. This is the sweet fish sauce. Ah, that's like thick sauce. Okay, aloe, okay. Top on cab. Really, really nice people. Absolutely lovely people. We're gonna head back now, finally. But it's taken us forever. We've done like, it's like half an hour to our journey to today, but it's taken us like eight hours just because we've been doing all kinds of stuff like this. Yeah, amazing people. Top on cab. Lovely. We've got our mate we met the other day, a bit of a birthday present. So what do you have? Ah, Suksan Wankard. Happy birthday. Who are you? Kong Kwan. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. How old? You, you sit par? Ah, same. But bomb you sit par. We're the same. Same age. <laughs> oh, the dog, the dog. Oh. Damn, I have. No, she's friendly. She's just a bit. She's just a bit timid. Um, Oh, she's so cute. She's absolutely amazing. I've forgotten her name. Um, Kakao Chu Tong. Tong Tong. Tong Tong. Hello, Tong Tong. <laughs> she's beautiful, aren't you? Beautiful, aren't you? Oh, you're cute. <laughs> I know, it's busy, busy cooks in the bike. Wow. Really nice guy. Oh, she's so cute. She sits in the fan all day. <laughs> Look at her there. Just getting blown. Look at her. Like a princess, aren't you? And every time they go out in the bike, they put her in the, the front basket. It's so funny. We just keep seeing them drive around town with this little princess. Are you going to be nasty? Oh, you're very beautiful, aren't you? Look at that mane. Oh. Honestly, it's so beautiful here. Yeah. Like the back of the house is so nice. It just cocks everywhere. And it's just like jungle. Just like all the palm trees, it's real nice. So do you have? <laughs> really nice. So we've just come out for a bit of a sunset ride down to the coast near where we're staying. And there's loads of shrimp farms. So I've just asked this bloke if we can have a look. And I think he said we can. I make a YouTube video, Si Si Chon. I've never seen a shrimp farm. This is interesting for me. Didn't it? Where are they? Where are they? Oh, so they're just all underneath it. You can't even see them. Oh, they're, they're tiny. They're yes, tiny, yes. tiny little so babies. Tiny. Oh, so small. How, how many in here? <laughs> Millions? Uh, some more landing in uh, to this million. Million? Yes. Wow, so there's so many little shrimpies in here. Wow, super interesting, yeah. <laughs> you know any um, talat pla? Talat pla. Yes. Talat? Oh. Honey, talat. Market. Market yeah. is, is open in the morning? Yes, yes. yes. Fish market? Uh, uh, what time? Well, well, I like have. Six in the morning. And when does it close? Morning. And 
Sip, tin, sip mong. So six oh, till ten. ten. Okay, we will come. Pung ni, we will come to our look. <laughs> chai, chai, chai. Okay. Every day. Oh, every amazing! Day, yes. Every day. Where can we eat? Here. Which, which one? Just anywhere what here. What is delicious? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know. I don't know. Okay, we will have a look. Okay. <laughs> this is okay. interesting though. So you've got, he's got loads of, of these tanks which is full of shrimp. Do you have any big, big ones? Oh, no, no. We yeah, don't have a big. No, have. Just little, yes. little. Ah, okay. Big one need a small. That is need a big place. Oh, they need a bigger, obviously, yeah. Need a bigger tank for them all. Oh wow. Okay, you speak very good English. Yeah, very good English. What is your name? Uh, Bok. Bok. Yes. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice thank you so you. much. Thank you. Kopomakap. Thank you. Tell your friend thank you very much. Kopomakap. <laughs> really cool little spot. Just, this, this, just shrimp farms all the way down here, yeah. And what he showed us, you could hardly see them. They were like the smallest things ever. Must be a big part of the industry down here because this, this is like a predominant fishing village hello <laughs> yeah it's a proper fishing village proper fishing village vibe so we're just going to take a look at the beach and just try and yeah just taking a sunset take you with us maybe go a bit of food maybe not and then just call the video here we've had such a good day let's see but yeah so nice around here isn't it especially at this time of day it's and so far the people seem friendly stay tuned because we might go to that fish market in the morning so stay tuned for that video if I make it. Here's the aftermath from today, the burns. Please show us your burns as well. I've got like a wonderful like, What is that? At least you've got stripes. <laughs> stripes and spots. Because we've not been in the sun like properly for so long. And I'm just like... I know. The tire summer heat. Don't mess with the tire summer heat. Now where we are now is the sister resort at the resort we're staying in. In Lance, so they also have like a beach resort. It's so beautiful. They've got these swings, Leash is sitting in, there's hammocks, again more swings, they've got the iconic time moon chair with the pillow in, really nice place. And yeah, just in this fishing village, I think this area seems to be a Muslim fishing village. Might come back, it's absolutely stunning, look at it. So we're going to wait for the sun to go down and watch the sunset here, but it's so nice, like all the kids are out playing, down there everyone's fishing in the sea. I mean, the sand's nice, it's clean, soft, the water looks nice. I mean, what a beautiful place. Look at this. It's well nice here. Proper, proper nice. So underrated. Honestly, so beautiful. Yeah, so we might leave it there. What a day we have had. Thank you so much for watching. It's been amazing, like, again, just like proper hidden gems, so underrated. Nakhon Si Tamarat has so many incredible places you have to visit. People have been amazing. Couldn't ask for more again. What another cracking day we've had in Thailand.